Hi, this is question 9 from the AQA Further Pure 1 January 2013 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to go ahead and try the question. So if you'd like to pause the video now and see if you can have a go at answering this question. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go. I'm now going to go over a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. So, um, we've got an ellipse that's shown here and the ellipse intersects the x-axis at points A and B. The equation of the ellipse is given here. For part A, we want to find the x-coordinates of A and B. Now remember, A and B are both lying on the x-axis, so the y-coordinate um, of points A and B is going to be 0. We can use that information along with this equation here to see if we can work out what the x-coordinates are going to be. Now remember, we will get two solutions here. OK, part B says the line y equals mx, which is this line here, is a tangent to the ellipse, so it's just touching the edge of the ellipse, with a point of contact at P. For the first part of this question, we need to show that the x-coordinate of P satisfies this equation here. So, we know the equation of the line is y equals mx, and we also know this equation here. Because we know y is equal to mx, we might be able to use that information um, and see if we can come up with a different equation and make it look like this here. For part 2, it says hence find the exact value of m. Well, we know that this is going to be a tangent um, to our ellipse. So um, that means that when we've got this here, we only want there to be a single solution. We want there to be exactly one solution. So we need to find or we, we need to find a value of m that's going to make it so that there's a single solution um, to this equation here. Okay, um, and, and if you want a further clue there, you might want to think about how um, you can use your discriminant um, to work that out. Okay, part three says find the coordinates of P. So once we've worked out what the value of M is, um, and we know what that is, we've got an equation here that we can sub our m into and end up with a quadratic equation that we can solve in terms of x. Once we've solved that equation um, we can then use our value of m to work out what our y coordinate is over here um, and that will give us the coordinates of the point p. Right, okay, so um, there is, those are my hints. Um, if you'd now like to pause the video and have a go at answering the question yourself. Okay, I'm now going to go over the answers um, to the question. So, um, I'll start by giving myself a little bit more room to work in over here. And we'll start with question A. Okay. Um, okay, part A, find the x-coordinates of, of A and B. So we decided that the y coordinate of these points are going to be 0. So um, that means I can write down the equation x take away 4 squared over 4 plus y, y is going to be 0 so that's just going to be 0. So this is going to be equal to 1. Now that means that x take away 4 squared is going to be equal to 4. And um, solving that, x take away 4 is going to be equal to um, the square root of 4, which is going to be plus or minus 2. So um, for the x coordinate for a, is going to be equal to um, and we can add 4 to the negative 2 which is going to give us 2 
and the x coordinate for b is going to be equal to, and we can add 4 to the positive 2, which is going to give us 6. So um, those are our x coordinates for a and b. Okay, for part b, um, and I'll come over here for part b. We want to show that the x coordinate of p satisfies this equation here. Okay, and p's um, where the tangent of um, this line here, y is equal to mx, um, intersects with with the ellipse over here. So um, I'm going to sub in mx into here. So that's going to be x take away four. squared over 4 is equal to, sorry, not equal to, uh, um, plus, and that's going to be um, mx squared, so I'm going to write that as m squared x squared, yes, yeah, so well I've substituted this mx into here, um, and that's going to be equal to 1. Okay, um, and tied in the circle, I'll have x take away 4 squared plus 4 m squared x squared is equal to 4. Expanding these brackets here, um, I'm just going to do that quickly as x squared take away 8x plus 16 plus 4 m squared x squared equals 4. And then I'm going to um, gather together my x squared terms. So I've got um, 4 m squared times x squared here, and I've got 1 times x squared here, and I'm going to add those together. So that gives me 4 m squared plus 1 times x squared. So that's that bit and that bit taken care of. Take away 8x plus 16. Um, but I'm going to take away 4 from both sides as well, so that's going to give me plus 12 equals 0. Yeah, so I've skipped, I've skipped a couple of steps there, but hopefully you can follow what I've done. Right, um, and, and that, that's, that's what we've got here. Yeah, so we've, we've ended up with the equation that we wanted. Now, part 2. Um, it says, hence find the exact value of m. Now we said that we were going to use the fact that um, the discriminant of this has to be zero because we're looking for a tangent to the ellipse. So I'm looking for there only to be a single solution to this. So um, I, I'm going to start by writing down my values of a, b and c. So um, a is going to be 4m squared plus 1 b is going to be equal to negative 8 and c is going to be equal to 12 and I want b squared take away 4ac to be equal to 0 so um, b squared well that's going to be negative 8 squared which is 64 take away 4 times a which is 4m squared plus 1 times c which is 12 is going to be equal to 0. So expanding this bit out I'll have 64 take away 16 times 12 so that's 192 m squared and um, 4 times 12 is 48 so you take away 48 equals 0 and simplifying this I get um, 192 m squared uh, plus that so it's going to be equal to 12 it's not it's going to be equal to 16 I beg your pardon okay um, and I can divide both sides by 16 now um, and in fact I'm going to divide both sides by so m squared is going to be equal to um, well that's 
So 12 m squared is going to be equal to 1. Um, so m squared is going to be equal to 1 twelfth. Okay, I'm just going to tidy up a little bit so I've got a little bit more room to work in. Okay, that's better. And um, m squared is equal to a twelfth, so m is going to be equal to the square root of a twelfth, which is 1 over um, root 12. Okay, um, and that's going to be, we could say m is going to be equal to 1 over and that's going to be 2 root 3 right so um, and that's part 2 we found the exact value of m now for part 3 and I'll do this over here we now want to find the coordinates of p so um, I know that p satisfies the x coordinate of p satisfies this equation here so I can use this to find the x-coordinate of p. Now what I should be expecting here, because it's a tangent, I should be expecting there to be only one solution to this equation here. So I'm anticipating that. Right, so I've got um, 1 plus 4 m squared, and m is this here, so that's going to be um, 1 twelfth. lots of x squared so that's that part there take away 8 times um, sorry 8 times x even <laughs> and plus 12 is equal to 0 okay simplifying this bit over here well that's 1 plus 4 twelfths and 4 twelfths is a third um, so that's going to be 1 and a third, or 4 thirds of x squared, take away 8x plus 12 equals 0. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, multiply everything by 3. So that's going to give me 4x squared, take away 24x plus 36 equals 0 and now I can divide through by 4 because 4 is a common factor so x squared take away um, 6x plus 9 equals 0 um, and now factorizing this I get x take away 3 is equal to 0 and I've got a repeated root or this, um, that, that's what I was expecting. So that tells me that the x coordinate here is going to be 3. So we could say that x equals 3. Almost then, because we want to find the coordinates of p. So I know um, the x coordinate, I also need to know the y coordinate. So using this equation here, um, y is equal to mx, or y is equal to um, this is our value of m. So it's going to be. Um, x over 2 root 3 um, and I know that x is 3 so I can say that y is going to be equal to 3 over 2 root 3 And, um, and and we, we can probably leave that as an answer um, I'm really really tempted to so I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by root 3 to rationalize it um, so that's going to tell me that y is going to be equal to um, 3 root 3 over um, 6 which is root 3 over 2 okay so um, my coordinates of p are going to be um, our x coordinate is going to be 3 and our y coordinate is going to be root 3 over 2 ok and um, there you go um, hopefully that was clear for you thanks very much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again soon take care